The conclusion of week five murder trial of Lori Vallow ends with a review of text messages sent by Lori. Local News 8's Seth Ratliff listened in on today's proceedings. Today in court, we learned more from the FBI about the text conversations and the affair between Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell leading up to the death of Charles Vallow. Special Agent Doug Hart of the FBI joined the search for J.J. Vallow in November 2019. He was one of the officers instrumental in locating J.J.'s grave on Chad Daybell's property. As part of his investigation, he gained access to Lori Vallow's iCloud accounts under the names Lolly Time and Lori for Styles at iCloud.com. Among the account texts are steamy messages, including sections of the Jim and Elena story, a mock spiritual fantasy romance novel Chad based on the two of them. Hart included these sections of the iCloud records to illustrate the nature of the couple's affair. He says after the affair began, there began to be communications regarding the deaths of Charles Vallow, Tammy Daybell, J.J. Vallow, and Tylee Ryan. Hart revealed that in Lori and Chad's texts, they characterized their alleged victims as obstacles. In one example, Lori contacts her niece, Melanie Bedreau, on the evening of July 9, 2019, 36 hours before Charles Vallow is killed. They have an elaborate plan, I'll call you soon, Lori writes. Melanie responds, I could take all the babies with and drive and take our stuff. Lori writes back saying, you can't go at all. We both need to stay here and defend ourselves. It's coming to a head. This week will change everything. In another notable text, Lori writes to Alex, thank you for standing by me. It's all coming to a head this week. I will be like Nephi, I am told, and so will you. Hart points out the significance as Nephi was a scriptural prophet in the Book of Mormon, commanded to slay a wicked man to get brass records. Agent Hart says he found no signs of regret or sorrow in any of the text messages following Charles' death. Court will continue Monday morning. In Madison County, I'm Seth Ratliff reporting.